Hey, what's up? This is Tech Brothers. Most likely you already heard about Lenovo Z5. It should be full bezel-less smartphone with 4TB of storage. However, when it was released, we found out that it is quite regular Chinese phone, although it has good specs for its price. So Lenovo lied us about bezel-less design and storage, but in any case Lenovo Z5 looks a very interesting device for $200. We found another very similar smartphone to Lenovo Z5, and it is called Umidigi Z2. It has almost the same design, specifications and features. This phone will be released in coming days, so we decided to compare Lenovo Z5 and Umidigi Z2 to find out which is better to buy. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers. The front panel of Lenovo Z5 and Umidity G Z2 look terrible similar. Both of them have notches above the display, thin bezels on sides and bottom. However, the back sides differ. Yes, both of them are made of glass, but Lenovo Z5 has dual vertical camera in the left upper corner and fingerprint reader in the center, while Umidity G Z2 has vertical camera and fingerprint reader in the center. Also, these phones have metal frame and USB Type-C ports. From other side, Lenovo Z5 has 3.5mm audio jack, while Humidity G Z2 doesn't have it. So, as you can see, these phones look very similar to each other, and only the back panel differs. It is impossible to choose a winner, because they are so similar. I will give them by one point each. If we talk about display, then Lenovo Z5 and Humidity G Z2 are identical. Both of them have 6.2-inch diagonal, 19 by 9 aspect ratio, and about 90% of screen-to-body ratio. Humidity G Z2 has a little higher resolution, but the difference is very small, and you will not notice it on a practice. 1080 by 2246 pixels against 1080 by 2240 pixels in Lenovo Z5. As I already said, both phones have notches above the display, and they should have an option to hide the notch, if you don't like it. And again, there is no winner, because Lenovo Z5 and Humidity G Z2 have almost the same displays. Both phones received by one point. As for the hardware, here we can see the first real differences between these phones. Lenovo Z5 is powered by Snapdragon 636 chipset with 6 gigs of RAM and 64 or 128 gigs of storage. If we talk about Humidity G Z2, it also has 6 gigs of RAM, but only 64 gigs of version, and it is powered by Helio P23 processor. It seems that Snapdragon 636 is better than Helio P23. This 14 nanometer chipset was released at the beginning of 2018. By the way, the same processor is used in Xiaomi Redmi Note 5 Pro. Helio P23 is 16 nanometer chipset, and it was released in 2017. Some words about software. Lenovo Z5 runs on Android 8.0 with ZUI 4.0 user interface. It is very customized user interface with AI voice commands, screen gestures, and others. Humidity Z2 also runs on Android already out of the box, but it is stock Android. So I believe that Lenovo Z5 will have better performance. If I am wrong and you don't agree with my opinion, please write in comments below. It seems that Lenovo Z5 and Humidity G Z2 have identical cameras. These phones have 16 megapixel main sensor and 8 megapixel secondary sensor on the back. However, Humidity G Z2 has dual front camera with the same 16 and 8 megapixel sensors, while Lenovo Z5 comes with only single 8 megapixel sensor. The smartphones are not on sale yet, so I have not seen real sample photos, but I think that they will have similar image quality on the main camera. As for the front, dual camera on Humidity G Z2 will provide selfie photos with bokeh effect and some other features. In my opinion, the selfie camera is very important today, so I will give Humidity G Z2 a point in this category. I want to tell you at once that Humidity G Z2 is a winner in this category because it has bigger battery of 3850mAh, fast charging support of 18 watts, and even wireless charging of 15 watts. Lenovo Z5 has 3300mAh battery with the same 18W fast charging support. This one also has glass back panel, but the manufacturer doesn't tell about wireless charging. Another point for Humidity G Z2, because in my opinion it will provide longer battery life. 
finally the price. Both phones will go on sale in coming days, but we already know their prices. Humidity G Z2 comes in only one version with 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, and it will cost $300. However, you can save $50 and pre-order the smartphone on Gearbest for only $250. The link will be in the description. As for Lenovo Z5, its official price starts from $202 for 6 gigs of RAM and 64 gigs of storage, or $281 for the model with 6 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage. You should note that this is official price, and perhaps the real price will be higher, especially on start of sales. Anyway, Lenovo Z5 is cheaper, so it receives the last point from me. As you can see, both phones have by 4 points each. They are really very similar, for example, design, display and cameras. However, Yumiji G Z2 comes with bigger battery and dual front camera, while Lenovo Z5 has more powerful Snapdragon 636 chipset and it is a little cheaper. Anyway, both phones look amazing for its price. What about you? Which phone would you like to buy? Please write in comments below. Thanks for watching, thumbs up and subscribe to our channel Tech Brothers.